Have you ever wanted a game that combines tennis, frisbee, and explosions? Well, here you go. Hey there, Internet Best Buddies, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ray, and today we're going to be looking at a game. But which game, you may be asking, if you haven't looked at the title or the thumbnail? That game is Disc Jam. So Disc Jam is developed by Hogwarts Entertainment, this small two-man team that has miraculously been able to put out a game. It is available on PlayStation and Steam for about $15, or if you have PlayStation Plus, you can get it for free as it is currently, at the time of recording this video, one of the free PS Plus games, which is how I got it, because I have PlayStation Plus, which made it free for me. I don't know if I have to hammer that home anymore. Let's move on. So since it was free for me, I decided to give it a shot. I do like trying out new games, especially if I get them free with either the PlayStation Plus or my Xbox Live Gold. There was very little buzz about the game going into it, so I didn't really know what to expect. But seeing the images and the advertisements, it piqued my man-child interest. So what did I think about the game? Well, well, you're about to find out. I'm, I'm going to tell you. So Disc Jam is a very fun and simplistic game that feels like somewhat of an upgraded version of Pong. It's very simple to play, very addictive, a lot of fun, but the key to the game is mastering the curved throws and trick shots. I cannot stress enough how addicting the game is. It's a lot of fun to play. There is a one-on-one -on -one game mode, which is more my speed, and also a doubles game mode, which is fun as well, but became a little too much for me as I kept losing my character. Although I will attest that this is my own undoing and not a problem as far as the game or the mechanics. Graphically, the game's okay, and that's about it. There's nothing that really stands out about it or hinders the experience. There's loads of unlockables from in the game, from discs to player costumes to titles for your character. There is a lack of content, I feel, with only one arena at launch, and not much variety in the costumes other than just colors. Although the creators have said that they will be supporting the game for the foreseeable future. So I honestly hope that means they're just going to add more things into it. A personal preference for me would be some sort of ice glacier map. I think that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully without any character sliding, though. That would not be a wanted element for me. And honestly, I just hope they add better costumes for these characters, because the ones they have just don't really jump out to me at all. So with them launching the game on PlayStation Plus as the free game, hopefully that gives a good enough relationship with Sony where they can have some of the iconic characters not so much make cameos, but just have some outfits in the game for the different players. There's also some lag when playing publicly, and it's not a constant thing, it's just every now and then, but when it kicks in, it's really bad. There's moments where clearly I'll have scored a goal and the person will just catch it for whatever reason and throw it back to me. Luckily, this has been addressed by the developers. They are working on it with Sony if they haven't already figured it out by this point. And overall, I didn't have too much issues with the lag. It was just every now and then. As a side note, which doesn't affect my judgment of the game at all, the trophy list is fairly easy and somewhat boostable, which is good for me because I absolutely love getting trophies and achievements. I just wish there was a Platinum. I just don't understand why not all the games have Platinums. Like I said, Disc Jam is a lot of fun to play, especially if you have people you're actually communicating with. Setting up private matches where you and another friend or you and three other friends are playing against each other could be a lot of fun. I just don't have the friend base on the PlayStation to actually set that up. But I would imagine it would be a lot of fun. For me, Disc Jam gets a solid 6 out of 10. So High Horse Entertainment seems to be trying to replicate the formula that led to Rocket League's great success. A new arcade game like this releasing on PlayStation Plus definitely helps spread word of mouth, and I think that's a solid strategy to get people into the game and then to promote it to their friends, which is honestly the best form of marketing. It's kind, kind of what I'm doing here with you guys, because you guys are my internet best buddies. The two-man team did a solid job, and I really am looking forward to the future of Disc Jam itself, as well as High Horse Entertainment. If you don't already have PlayStation Plus, I'll leave an affiliate link down below, so you can go and pick that up for yourself. Also, if you don't really want PlayStation Plus, and you want to just outright buy the game, I'll leave a link for some PlayStation monies down there as well, so you don't gotta put your credit card on the Sony network so it gets hacked again. That'd be bad. As always, if you haven't done so already, go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the content I put out. Give the video a like and definitely share it with some friends. Thanks again for watching, everybody. See ya.